So um, about a month or so ago, I picked up this little um, sky tracker for doing some portable imaging. And I really, I haven't had a chance to try it out yet, but we have a couple trips coming up where I would like to try it out. So I thought I would set it up here and you guys could see how I plan on setting it up. I really have no idea how it's going to work out in the field till I get a chance to try it. But I think it could be a good option for easy packing, easy travel, wide field imaging just with my EOS R camera. So yeah, let's, uh, let's set it up and see what it looks like. So these are all the parts I plan on using. Have it laid out here on the table. So I plan on using it with my Gikodo tripod. It's a, it's a pretty sturdy, heavy duty tripod. So I think that if I use it with the post actually collapsed and down closer to the ground, it will be fairly stable. I've got it a bit taller now here so that we can see it on the camera. So that's my plan. So first off, I will uh, move the ball head and I'll actually be using that later. Um, and I'm going to put the mount. It's got this nice 3 8 inch. So it's ready to go right on any standard tripod. There's an option to put just the, the ball head right on the mount and adjust the, and have the camera on it. I'm actually going to be using it with the counterweight bar because I think that the EOS R with the 200 millimeter is gonna be a little heavy just for that. So I wanted to use it with the bar and the counterweight. So we'll first get this up, up here. So I guess before, there's been a lot of tutorials on this already, but I guess not since I'm doing the setup, I'll explain. This little dealy right here, you, know, you can see it spins. This is the clutch, so when you tighten it up, it's what tightens it, and then when you loosen it, then you have the clutch just so you can rotate everything. So I've got the clutch loose right now. All right, and then this is the little V mount that uh, slots, slots right up on top here. So just make sure that's in nice and tight. And there we go, nice and solid. And then I'm actually, I've got a little Vixen mount with a 3 8 thread to attach to the ball head that I took off earlier. All right, so now with this, I'm gonna balance. So we'll turn it horizontal, just like balancing a telescope on your regular equatorial mount. So. Seems good. So yeah, I think that is the setup I'm going to uh, experiment with over the next, uh, but I just really wanted something I could throw in to a carry-on if I needed to, or that would fit in my luggage sack and not really increase the weight. And something that I could use with most of the photography stuff I would already be traveling with anyway. So I'm already traveling with the tripod. I'm already traveling with, the camera. So now all I'm adding is this little counterweight and this little mount, which as you can see, when it's all broken down, doesn't take up that much space. Hopefully get a chance to try this out over the next week. And um, when I do, I will do an update and see how, uh, see how some of the images turned out.
So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video of me putting together my Skyguider Pro. And the setup I'm hoping will work for me for portable astrophotography. Um, so if you like this video or you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Um, hope we'll have an update in a week or so about how this worked out and how the imaging worked out for me. So until then, have a great day and I'll... See you next time.